Yo, peace is good. Welcome to another hip hop and review. This is part 205. The album, the album that I'll be reviewing tonight is a uh, Karis one with his third album titled uh, I Got Next, released in 1987. Um, by now, you guys should know who Karis one is. I did a review on all five Boogie Now production albums. Um, check those those out when you guys get a chance. Um, I also did a review on the first two Karis one albums, uh, uh, Return of the Boom Bap and the self titled album in 95. So, um, right after um, the self-titled album, you know, he was uh, focused on, like, you know, uh, side projects that he had. Well, particularly um, artists I was affiliated with him, like I mentioned before, uh, Channel Live and, um, you know, uh, Mad Lion, who uh, ended up putting out their first songs that year. So, Carol Smith was, like, pretty busy with that, you know what I mean? Um, did a lot of production on those albums. I think with... Um, the Mad Lion, he did the whole album. He did the production wise, he did the whole album. Uh, with um, the the channel live, he did a couple of joints. I think Salama and me did a couple of joints too. Um, both dope albums, very slept on. And then um, you know, he started working. He was quiet for a little bit. He uh, he had dropped a um, a little twelve inch called um, Can't Sound Will Stop, which ended up being on this album. And um, another song he dropped was called um, Word Perfect, which I wish was on the album. Uh, both were produced by DJ Muggs. Oh my God, so fucking dope. And then which led to the making of this album. And actually, you know, in 1997, he dropped this album right here, all right? Um, as you guys know, this album has three singles. Singles are The MC, uh, Step Into The World, and A Friend. Those are the three singles of the album, all right? You know how I get down? Let me show you what that one looks like. Uh, you see Karis one. You, know, you can see his dress got a little, you know, longer. You know, compared to the self-titled album two years ago. You know, you just see like a back, like a wall of fire, like behind him. It's all right, you know, not too crazy, whatever. All right. Back, pretty much the same thing. Say Karis one. You know, a whole bunch of fire. You know what I mean? Pretty cool. Nothing to it. CD, it's pretty much the same thing. Jarvis, <laughs> Jarvis is something that came up. You know, I always give shit about that, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. And then you can see, like, all the albums that came out that he put out so far in his career. You know, pretty much, like, um, like I said, except for Criminal Minded, because Criminal Minded was um, released on the B-Boy Records, so that's why you don't see it on here. Um, but you see everything else, all right? Leading up to um, the self-titled album. Oh, you do see criminal. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Didn't see that. All right. Um, and yes, this is an enhanced CD. You know, um, in order to see the content of that, you have to have a Windows 95, Windows 98 uh, desktop, which um, they no longer make. But you could probably find it at some pawn shop or, you know, flea market or whatever, you know. All right. Open it up. See what the album looks like. All right. As you can see, you get... Um, you know, kind of like, it's like a sweepstake, kind of like, you know, you answer questions, mail it to Jive Records, they'll give you like a free t-shirt or whatever, you know, some cool shit like that. All right, so you got the track list, and you see like a, like a kind of like a witch, pretty cool. See Kara's one, with, um, he's on his Mortal Kombat shit, his Radiant shit. <laughs> he's like an immortal version of, uh, of Kara's one with him fire and shit, you know what I mean? Then you see him. See somebody shooting guns, you know, shooting at somebody. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's dope. All right. There's 18 tracks. Let me get with the producers. The producers are um, Karis One himself, Domingo. Shout out to Domingo. Uh, Jesse West, Showbiz, uh, Commissioner Gordon, uh, then Bisa and DJ Cypher. Uh, I mentioned Showbiz again. Karis, one I mentioned before. DJ Muggs. Um, that's pretty much it. Those are the producers of the album. Uh, features on the album. Uh, let's see. Radman and Angie Martinez. Some dude named Thor L. Not sure who that is. Redman I mentioned before. Uh, Mike Vandals, and that's pretty much it, alright, those are the features in the album, alright, you know how I get down, I'm gonna go through some of the tracks, 
Alright. Ah, shit. Alright. Now, let's get down to it. First track is the first quarter, the commentary. Um, it's just an automated um, woman voice just saying, like, how you are hip-hop. Um, and, you know, hip-hop is a form of expression, that kind of thing. You know, nothing really too much to it, you know. Kind of pointless, if you ask me. Uh, track two, second quarter. It's just a... Um, it's pretty much an acapella and at a live show that he's doing. You know, it's just saying, like, you know, like, you know, stop the violence, that kind of thing. Um, just him, you know, freestyling, you know, um, acapella at a live show, you know. Pretty cool, but, you know, like I said, I could have done without that, too. Ah. Track three, the MC, one of my favorite tracks off the album. Love the beat. That was produced by Domingo. Um, the story with the song, the MC... That was actually supposed to be featured on the self-titled album that came out in 95 that I mentioned, that I've mentioned before, that I also reviewed, but um, it didn't make the deadline, so it ended up coming on this album. And honestly, I'm kind of glad it didn't go on the album, because just listening to it, it wouldn't have fit the album, in, in my personal opinion. Um, I think it fit this album a lot better. Um, it had a lot going. It, it just it was perfect for this album. That's all I have to say about that. But um, shout out to my dude Domingo. Um, dope dude. Um, yeah man. Um, dope 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 joint. Love it. Uh, it was a single, but it never had a video. Um, I do like. I love the line when he says, um, "Gently move crowds with harmonic rhythms, cause the lyrics we give them, the mic. Um, cause the lyrics we give them, they miss them. I love that. That was pretty dope, man." Um, he just goes in on that track. This is like that beat is just so ill. It's such an ill beat. One of Domingo's illest beats he made in his career, in my opinion. Um, very underrated producer too, in my opinion. Uh, that's the MC. Um, track four, I got next. I got next slash never had a gun. Um, I got next. Um, I wasn't really too crazy about. You know, the beat was okay. It didn't really do much for me. But then it switches and then it goes to the song Never Had a Gun, which I love. Dope beat. He definitely does his thing on that. Um, he had a um, he had a the the dope use of a Chuck D sample. Forgot the name of the song that he sampled from. Um, I do like the line where he says, um, "You grab the microphone, talk a good ramble. You're the hardcore outlaw, criminal vandal, burning MCs like a candle. But you fronting. You ain't got nothing. Your life, you gamble. With your life, you gamble." Love that fucking dope. I thought that was pretty dope. Um, that's I got next slash uh never had a gun. So I got next the self titled track. I wasn't really too crazy about I didn't like the beat. Um, but he switches to never had a gun and you know it, it's a lot better, just my personal opinion. Uh track five heartbeat featuring Redman and Angie Martinez was not a fan of the song at all, but I think Redman saved the song in my opinion. Um Angie Martinez cannot rap for shit, I'm sorry. Um, I know she dropped the album back in 2001. I remember they were promoting that album. Um, there was like one song she had with Prodigy, which was okay, but you know that's not speaking much. And I love Prodigy, but um, Prodigy wasted a good verse. That's all I have to say on that. But um, <laughs> um, but it was heartbeat. Um, it samples that was produced by Karis One Body. Um, the heartbeat. It, it samples the the that um, feel the heartbeat by the Treacherous Three was oh my god like it's just it is no different than like the rappers delight that Death Squad did that same year just was not a fan of that I get it like you know they was paying homage to hip hop and stuff like that but it's just it's not a fan of that shit man like um at least flip I don't know it's just I don't know I just I was not crazy about that but um Redman I think had the best verse I like the line when he said um. I click run deeper than Charlie Tuna, Kahuna's, roll for the able key movers, all over the hood like them crooked eye coolers, bang maneuvers from Jersey to Vancouver. Man, like, I think it's get Redman. That's what I'm saying. Redman, he's like one of the illest MCs of all time. I love that dude. I gotta do a review on his, of his albums, because I got all of his albums. Um, I remember doing it. I did a review for There Is A Dark Side. I want to redo that. I didn't like that. Um, I didn't like that video. So I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna redo all the Red Man um, 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 albums. You know, I want to do it justice. But um, yeah. So I thought Red Man had the best verse. He killed that shit. Um, track six, step into arena. Rappers delight. Um, rappers 
Yeah, Rapture, Rapture's Delight. Excuse me. Um, this was like the second, and this was like the biggest single of the album. You know, I think it was like his biggest single of his career, like solo wise. Um, I'm just so fucking tired of the song. I've heard it so much. Tap into the world. I'm so tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, if you play that, but I'm, I'll give you this though. When you see Karis One perform live and you perform that song, you will get hyped. But I feel like that's the only time you play that song. But other than that, I can't bump that into the. It's not. It's not even on my iPod. Put it like that. I, I don't have it on my iPod. So, yeah, I'm just so tired of that song. I've heard it so much. To me, it's just like in the realms of like you know, Juicy, Big Papa, Dear Mama, California Love, like in those realms of annoying singles that everybody loves. But I can't seem to stand. Hey, you know what? But, you know, like I said, if you're at an event, you play those songs, okay, that's one thing. But, yeah, you're not going to hear me bump that shit in, in the ride. That's all I have to say about that. So, that's why I step into, um, step into the world, Ravages Delight. Uh, wasn't too crazy about that. Uh, track 7, A Friend. Um, one of my favorite tracks off the album. Uh, that was produced by Showbiz. That's also a single as well. Um, you know, in this song, he just pretty much talks about how, um, you know, it's just like having a friend. That's there for you through thick and thin, you know. But then, like, when you get, you know, you get famous, you have those fake friends that you call your day ones. But then it's like, you know, they end up stabbing you in the back and shit like that, man. So, um, you know, sh you know, things of that nature. It's, it's just crazy, all right? Um, that's uh, a friend. Very dope joint. Dope beat vibe. Showbiz. Love that joint. Uh, track 8, Hip Hop. Um, that features... Uh, I wrote it down. Uh, Dorel, pretty dope track. Um, pretty dope track. Um, I like the line when he says, "Um, by Dorel when he says, you get no vet, and if I could stay leaded, I'm leaving rappers one leg, one leg from faking like the pros, like a like a ah." Let me read that again. Sorry. Um, you get no vet, and if I could stay leaded, I'm leaving rappers one legged from faking like the prosthetic. You're artificial, but crippled. Rappers like your pistol. Grim Reaper, I got the whistle. Death, I fold no tissues. I pull no tissues. Man. Woo! He went in on that joint. That was pretty dope. Karis one had a decent verse, but I think Dorel had the best verse, in my opinion. Um, That's hip-hop. Um, H-I-P-H-O-P. -I -I -P -P. Not sure of the acronym, what it stood for. Um, Track 9, Halftime. It's just a skit. Just him... Um. Talk about um stop the violence, you know that kind of thing, like a freestyle in a at a live band. I mean a live concert and stuff like that. Not too much. Um track third, uh, track ten, third quarter, the commentary. Um could have done without that. That was like unnecessary. Um track eleven, classics again. Um classics is pretty much like a mashup of like all the classic hits that he had, you know. Throughout his career, like the you know from the boogie down production era up to his solo stuff, so it's only like a minute long, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it is what it is. Uh, track twelve, blow, featuring Redman, that was produced by Showbiz, one of my favorite tracks off the album. Um, it's a shame that Redman did not have a verse on this joint, but man, that shit is so fucking dope. I love that man. Um, he had a line. Um, I like the line where he said, um. Tip in the skill, I pay tuition, not bill. Drink water, not ill. MC Hammer, MC Hammer hits it right on the nail. I thought that was pretty dope, man. I really enjoyed that. Just that beat, just so ill, like that. Kind of has like that, um, kind of like, not opera, but like like an orchestra kind of feel to it. But it's just though something different for showbiz. But he he definitely delivers on that on that joint, man. So with the the song of friend. And this song, Blow, fucking dope. But like I said, my only grapple is like, Redman didn't have a verse because he would have killed that shit. That's just my opinion. Um, track 13, um, Real Hip Hop Part 2 featuring Mike Vandals. Um, it was okay. It was I, I didn't really care for it, honestly. It didn't really do much for me. Uh, track 14, Come to the Party. Um, that's a dope track, but there's a singer that sings the hook. But if it just seems like a little out of place in my personal opinion, um, but I do like the beat. Um, I like the line when he says, um, "I'm putting back in your right to South Bronx vent vernacular, 
um, bound to put the crack in your armor. I'm much sharper. You know, it's like I said, like that was dope. But like I said, like the R&B hook by the 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 singer just this just seemed a little out of place to me. Like they didn't really fit it. But you know, it is what it is. Um, track fifteen, can't sign, won't stop. Love that drink. Love that drink. You know, Karis One and DJ Mugs sounds so dope um together, man. I kind of wish they like did like a little EP, like a collab album or something like. Especially around that time, that would have been dope, man. He sounds so dope over that joint, um, over DJ Mug beats, especially around that time. Um, I wish the song Word Perfect was on YouTube. The only, the instrumental was on, but, um, it's just unfortunate because that song Word Perfect is so fucking dope. Um, I like, the, um, pretty much the, what the song is about is just pretty much he plays as a, as a, as a weed dealer, you know, the, you know, the whole story, like just him, you know, sounds an undercover cop. You know, he gets busted, but then he kind of has to play informant, you know, that kind of thing. So, it's kind of crazy. It's dope storytelling. That's one thing about Karis One. He doesn't get props when it comes to concept albums, I mean, concept tracks, and, um, like, storytelling. You know what I mean? Um, I love the line where he says, um, I'm in another herb gate like a superstar. 11 a.m. Things are safe so far. I used to worry about the co- competition on the block, but then the competition on the block is the cops. Woo! But the way he says it is so fucking dope. I love that. Um, that's Can't Stop, Won't Stop. That's produced by DJ Muggs. Love that joint. Um, track 16, Over Your Head. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this this song is an acquired taste. I have to say that. Um, very different from Kara's one. I I see what he was doing with that. Very experimental. It's just him rapping over a rock beat, you know that kind of thing. Something that Rage Against the Machine would have done, you know, early in their career, like you know, like something like on like the first album, the Rage Against the self title album from '92 or something like that. Just not has that feel to it. Just him rapping over that. Just. I don't know. It seems a little out of place. Um, to me, it doesn't really fit the album. Maybe in like in a compilation album, like a rap rock compilation or something like that. But it's just not on this album. Um, I would put Word Perfect over that song. That's just my personal opinion. Um, that's track 16, Over Your Head. Um, I, I do respect him for trying, but it just didn't work for him. Um, track 17, Just to Prove a Point. Um... No, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Over Your Head, Dope Joint. That was pretty dope. Track 17, Just to Prove a Point, was the rap rock song that I was telling you guys about. So, I apologize. Um, Yeah, that song, I could have done without that, man, honestly. Like I said, Just to Prove a Point could have been on a rap rock compilation. You know, um, I, again, I would have done without that. I could have put World Perfect... I would have put Word Perfect over that song, but, you know, I, I respect him Trump for trying, but it just didn't really work. And track 18, fourth quarter free throws, um, not really a fan of the song, you know what I mean? It's just, it's not like an R&B track, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, I don't know, man, what the fuck. Overall, my thoughts on this album, this album was okay, um... I understand he was trying to do more commercial. He, he, he was trying to go for that more commercial appeal. Um, didn't really work for him. You know what I mean? Um, I, I respect him for trying new things. Because, you know, you don't want to be pigeonholed on doing certain things. But sometimes that's not always a bad thing. But um, for one thing, a lot of pointless skits. You know, why would they trim those off? Um, some of the some of the production, I could it could have been a lot better. You know, um, just, I, it was okay. You know, the lyrics were dope. He, he did a sing on the lyrics, but it was just some of the beats I could have, could, I could have done without, it could have had better beats in my opinion. Um, my favorite tracks off the album are the MC, uh, Friend, uh, Blow, uh, Come to the Party, Can't Sign, Won't Stop. And over your head, those are the songs I like the most. But then everything else I could have done without, man. Um, again, I, it was him trying to go for a more commercial appeal. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I respect him from trying for doing that, but just 
it's not Karis one, you know. And you know, ninety seven was that year that you know, a lot of people were pressured to do, to follow the Biggie route, and the, it didn't work for a lot of people. Like, uh, hence my drama with Vendetta, which I did a review a couple years ago. When I first heard it, I didn't really like it, but then re like you know, listening to it later on. I actually like it. It's not as bad as I thought. You know, I know a lot of people hate that album, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be, you know, as I thought it was, but um, it could have been a lot better. You know, the McGruff, Dustin the B album, fell victim to that. And even McGruff himself himself said, like, you know, he was pressured by the um the label, I think he was on that at the time, FCA Records, to make an album like that. Because, you know, everybody, you know, because, you know, Jay-Z, too, within Volume 1, um, in my lifetime, volume one, you know, everybody tried to follow the biggie ride, it just did not work for them. So, it is what it is, man. Um, overall, decent album, not my favorite. It was okay. Um, I could have, it could have been a lot better. Um, I think a little bit too much experimentation, pointless skits, um, him trying to go for the more commercial appeal. I don't know, I just could have done without that. Just my personal opinion. Not you know, at least not for Kara. You know, at least not for Kara's one. That's just my personal opinion. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Definitely stay tuned for more. I definitely got some more reviews in the works. All right. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. And that's pretty much it. Um, be easy. Stay tuned. Peace.